They did not rule in favor of healthcare workers. They did not rule in favor of military. They just decided, oh, well, you, because you are governed by the federal government and receiving, if you work for anybody receiving Medicare, which is pretty much everybody in healthcare, yeah, right. your employer in healthcare, um, because I, I'm actually a, a certified quali OASIS quality specialist as well and an MDS nurse. So what that means is that I do head to toe assessments and do health and history. I collect all of that information and I submit it to CMS for reimbursement center for Medicare and Medicaid services. So there I was and we were, I was stuck in between contracts. So it wasn't that I was fired from a position for refusing anything. And it wasn't that, um, it was that I couldn't get hired, you know, unless I accepted an exemption, which I, I signed the declination when I did my first contract in Florida. But I, I mean, at that point when the, when SCOTUS ruled in favor of the federal government, that takes precedent over whatever bill DeSantis, you know, passed. So I had to make a decision at that point. And that right then, what it just so happened, I, I had been watching what was going on in Canada with the Freedom Convoy yeah. and how they were being mandated. And when I seen what it what had had happened toward the end of that convoy, where they brought in their own government and government outside their, their country to beat the, their own citizens down just for speaking out. Um, I said, that that's it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not dealing with this anymore. And then I heard about the people's convoy that was going from California to DC. And, and you'll have to excuse me if I get emotional. Um, my husband and I decided at that point that if we were going to take a stand, we were going to take a stand right then. Mm 